Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Good. With that out of the way, here's the LEGO Captain America's shield. A build as impressive as it is repetitive. My favorite kind of LEGO sets, as you're probably aware. The build is massive, maybe not an accurate one-to-one -one replica, but close, though comparing it to the movie version referenced in the back of the box, one thing is clear, the white parts of the shield should have been colored grey or metallic silver instead of white. Other than that, the thing is spot on, I'd say, the star isn't super polished and you can kinda see the funky techniques needed to get it to have this shape, but the shield and the way the curvature of it looks in the end is very impressive. Going in into the build I was afraid this was going to be a case of a super technic heavy build to get the roundness and curvature done, something like the LEGO Ideas globe set that I wasn't that big of a fan of. Though surprisingly the shield does have technic but kept to a minimum on the stand on which the shield sits and in the middle of it all with just a few technic axles for a strong core. Everything else was, to my surprise, LEGO system parts based which I actually really liked. But you can kinda see the craziness needed to get this thing done in a sturdy way, which makes it really heavy and hard to handle, especially the first few times you try to place this on the stand. The stand is pretty straightforward as far as LEGO stands go, with the most notable things being the printed plaque piece that says Captain America instead of Captain America's shield. The whole point of this set is the shield and yet the plaque mentions the hero, which I found really odd. You'd think we would be getting a pretty special minifigure out of such a big and exclusive set, right? Well, this version of Captain America has appeared two other times in significantly cheaper LEGO products, so there's that. On your left, regular Captain America with his headgear and printed chin strap, and on your right, headgear off, smiles and airpiece also included in the set. Cool back printing and here, you know, that is America's ass. Not as impressive as the movie version, that's for sure. When placing the shield on this stand, the angle it's at is quite upright, which will force you to handle this with great care when moving around, because with the slightest of touches you could unbalance this and make it fall forward. As a matter of fact, this just happened during the shooting of this review, so yeah, I would try to be extremely careful when handling this if I were you. I rebuilt it and I wish I could say I could do this all day, but I can't and why, you may ask? This has been one of the most boring building experiences I've ever had with LEGO sets, as expected from such a build, but I had to say it nonetheless. Sometimes you have to do a simple build of 7 pieces 17 times, no big deal, place down 36 elements, easy peasy. But then there's like 36 assemblies here, or 36 far more parts intensive builds there, and things start to get serious. The technique core of the build was really hard on the fingers, having to slide elements on the cross axles many many times. These 18 builds were okay, but then you have to open 7 bags of pieces and build this sub-assembly 18 times. Eventually you don't even look at the instructions and do it from memory, it can be enjoyable in some ways, but the sheer amount of copies is too much, making it very rough to do by the end of it. Especially rough when you place it all down and notice 18 missing slices of shield and you open a ton of bags once again and build 18 more slightly different slices to complete it all. Oh my lord. On the bright side, stuffing a lego box with lots of the same pieces is significantly easier to do production wise, and so the the price on this is quite amazing. $200 for a 3000 piece Marvel LEGO model is completely unheard of. The building instruction booklet is also quite thin due to all of the repetition steps not requiring lots of pages, and comparing these to other 3000 piece LEGO model booklets makes it all the more obvious. I cannot recommend this one to people like myself who hate repetition at all. It is not fun to put together, plain and simple. Does it look amazing in the end? Yes it does. Does that make it worth it? Still no. At a similar price range and also meant for display, the Amazing Spider-Man art set is far better at everything when compared to the shield except for price per piece value. So you may want to check that video next and consider subscribing to my newsletter, Brick Update, where I cover the latest LEGO news, deals and discounts, my YouTube adventures and fun facts about LEGO, like the real reason LEGO Star Wars sets sometimes have pink bricks inside. Links in the description.